Visitation Valley, named by Sir Francis Drake in 1579, is located in the southeastern part of San Francisco. The area has a high population of African Americans, many of whom moved there for job opportunities at the Hunters Point Naval Shipyard during World War II. The neighborhood's predominance of African Americans is a legacy of the restrictive housing covenants of the past. At the height of the 1960s, African Americans of all ages found strong, visible role models like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, and Stokely Carmichael that represented a greater movement of the people. Black youth participated passionately in sit-ins, protests, and marches advocating civil rights. Under determined leaders, African Americans were united, heading toward a hopeful future. And I just wish that we would take more advantage of, uh, you know, the opportunities that people fought for us. I don't think they know to the extreme of what Martin Luther King and everybody stood for and how they fought for it, you know. It's worse now because you don't have as many leaders that you can look up to. Because, uh, you know, uh, after Martin Luther King died, it looked like everything went down the hill. Along with the assassinations of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, the powerful movements of change they represented began to fragment. The laws and programs pushed into Congress by civil rights leaders and enforced by President Lyndon Johnson in the 60s were dismantled by President Ronald Reagan 20 years later. The Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act effectively cut funding for social programs that were helping African Americans break the chains of history. By 1983, one-fifth of the black population was jobless, and the growing availability of assault weapons and hard drugs made the 80s and 90s a period of devastation for black people. It made a big difference to have things cut back. Um, it was a sea turn in history after 20 years of trying to, um, trying to achieve those things, and it resulted in a lot of different problems. Right now it's very sad because a lot of kids I've taught from babies, and now they've grown up and have families, and some of them have to move out because of the gang situation. They're not involved in it, but for some things or another, they get involved, you know. And if you black, yes, you in it. Visitation Valley represents the greater African-American experience in inner cities around the U.S., where crime, gang wars, and drug trades account for high murder rates. African-Americans comprise less than 8% of the San Francisco population, yet made up 63% of homicide victims in 2005. During the 60s, life for African Americans was getting better with the passing of the Civil Rights Act and innovative government-funded programs such as Head Start. But today, there are few government measures that are effectively assisting lower-income African American families. In the past, we've been able to give stipends so that they were earning like 10 to $20 a week coming. Since the um, budgets have been cut, we can no longer offer the stipends. We had a 12-year-old in Hunters Point, he picked up a gun and shot another 12-year-old. Like, this was last week, you know? I mean, he totally learned it from seeing something. Unfortunately, in their lives, in the newspaper, you, you, you know, you read about it, you see it. There's probably at least one murder a week in the neighborhoods that they live in. And a lot of it is black-on-black -black crime. A lot of the gunshots are gunshots that they hear. A lot of the people who are murdered are people who they know. And unfortunately, they've seen a lot of dead people. In 1619, Africans were brought to America in chains. They remained enslaved for 244 years and were legally oppressed for close to 100 years after that. The 60s were a time of idealism in which laws were changed, but de facto racism endured. Today in Visitation Valley, people are struggling to overcome the weight of history but they cannot do it on their own. The first thing is, is that we live in a country where there is legislation which is fair, that's in place as of the 50s for um, providing for people in large part. But the minds and the hearts of many people are not in place to keep that legislation doing what it was designed to do. At Visitation Valley Middle School, some students attend an after-school program called Roots. This program helps them deal with the absence of family members, exposure to violence, and drug use. 
In Visitation Valley Middle School, African Americans make up 25% of the student body, but 70% of the students in Roots are black. At Roots, boys and girls can discuss issues in a safe setting and receive positive guidance towards solving problems. When you hear the music about guns and shooting people, do you glorify it? Guns are bad. My mom was shot when she was pregnant with me. She was with my dad in the car and she was driving. Then these guys came up and shot her. And then she got shot in the back and in the stomach. And then we both survived. So she named me Lucky. Like, let's say I hear some kind of news that's upsetting to me. If, if I just kind of walk away, you think it gets stuck inside of me or like? Yeah. So what are ways for me to let out my sad feelings? Talk to somebody. What expectations do we have of our parents? To be a good influence. You need fathers for, for certain things just as well as a mom. You know, moms are incredible because my mother taught me things and my father couldn't. I think you really need, you need both. Well, it's harder for some people when they ain't got nobody to talk to. They end up, you know, either, you know, just no social life or they end up doing something to themselves that's not good. It gives them hope. I mean, everybody wants hope. Everybody wants to talk about life and they want to live. Like after I've been in Roots with Corey and Lauren, like it was cool, you know, and then I like really started like, like man, I, I need to like get out the streets. I, I need to stop doing what I'm doing. And if you got something to say, they'll listen, they'll try to help you out. And I'm like, cool, you know, I got stuff to say. I'm gonna see if they can help me out. And... The seeds that we plant might grow 10 years from now. I think we may never see what a difference we made in these kids' lives, but I really believe that in each kid, we've said something or done something that may help them think a little bit differently or act a little bit differently. With 350 years of painful history riding on their shoulders, it is harder than ever for the people of Visitation Valley to cope with violence, unemployment, and drug use without the idealism and hope that was so present in the 1960s. Programs like Roots are giving young people confidence to break the cycle. But the government, communities, and society in general must all come together to help African Americans rise. Oh,